from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're seeing some energy move through our area. This is associated with a short wave that's been firing up showers and thunderstorms across the region. A couple of them have been strong to severe. We were tracking a severe thunderstorm warning that was in effect for portions of Kent and Queen Anne's County. That's been allowed to expire. Still seeing though some rain that has been moving through uh, those same communities. Chestertown, man, you've been getting a beating with the rain and the lightning that is now moving just to the south of town. But man, there's still some soggy weather ahead for folks in Churchill all the way down towards Goldsboro. These same communities have been getting this rain, so we'll be watching for isolated flash flooding concerns. And then we're watching the cell that's moving through portions of Northern Carroll and Baltimore County. Showers uh, moving through Benedict Woods, Manchester. Looks like you're starting to see it uh, lighten up just a tad bit. If you're in Archibald Valley, expect that rain to get a little bit heavier. Same for folks in Forreston over the next few minutes. Not as much energy with that cell as we were seeing a few minutes ago. Temps at 91 degrees. The wind shifted out of the west at 10, so that warmed things up a little bit. That heat index is up to 95, so still feeling a little sticky out there. But I'm expecting those numbers to drop over the next few hours and those rain chances to diminish. We'll see numbers falling towards 80 degrees at the 9 o'clock hour with morning lows. They're going to be in the upper 60s, low 70s, depending on where you are in the state. Now, as we head towards Tuesday, we're going to be watching clouds build as we head through the day. I do expect us to remain dry for the first half, but as we head into the afternoon and evening, some of those showers and thunderstorms are going to fire up and start to push into our area. So it'll be a soggy evening with rain chances, unfortunately, increasing through the overnight hours. So if you're looking to get out and about tomorrow, the numbers are dry for the morning, 73 degrees at the 7 o'clock hour. Expecting clouds, but still uh, nice enough to go out to the Maryland State Fair tomorrow afternoon. Temps hovering in the mid 80s, and then we'll see those rain chances increasing through the evening. So if you're heading out to the Meriwether Pavilion, more sets in town, you're going to need that umbrella on standby as those showers linger and temperatures fall into the upper 70s. As we head into your Wednesday, that's where that risk gets elevated. We're looking at a level one out of five. This is with a tropical system. Damaging wind and flash flooding going to be our concerns, but also brief tornadoes will be possible. We dealt with this a couple of weeks ago with Fred. We saw isolated tornado warnings, similar type of setup. And then on top of that, the National Weather Service has preemptively issued a flash flood watch starting at the 11 o'clock hour on Wednesday, lingering through early Thursday morning. And you can see moisture filtering into the region for the morning drive. Cloudy skies, moisture lingering around through the afternoon, heavier rain as we head into the evening, and that's going to be pushing out of our area as we head into the early hours on Thursday. So be prepared for a soggy Wednesday and expect for some isolated areas to have some flooding concerns. Temperatures are going to be cooler thanks to the rain and the clouds. And as far as rain totals, the models are going to change. They're going to fluctuate over the last next couple of days. But what I do expect is widespread areas to get two to four inches, but we can see isolated totals up to six, six and a half inches if we see training in some of those rain bands. So a, a flash flooding concern, uh, especially for portions of Western Maryland, on our brains as we head through the next couple of days. That moisture exits on Thursday, and then we kind of get a win for the weekend. We're talking about temperatures that are hovering near 80 Friday and Saturday. Sunny skies warming towards the mid 80s. We're talking about seasonal numbers as we head towards Monday. Looks like your Labor Day is nice. Highs near 86.